It is um, October 12th, I'm sorry, November 12th, about 8.30 in the morning. We're here about six weeks since we were here and dropped off these nukes. And we came back yesterday in the morning to inspect. We were very disappointed um, of the about 17 colonies that I brought, Some of, most of which were in relatively weak condition because we had just made them into nukes. Only about uh, roughly half of those have survived. Um, we had a lot of wax moth damage, um, and then just some uh, bees that absconded or died off slowly. We think fire ants may have been part of the problem. Um, Jerry's brought down some fire ant killer for some of his hives. He's lost, I think he said, seven or eight of his hives as well. So disappointing. We're going to need to rethink our um, our trip to California unless we can find some more bees, which has been hard to do this year, this time of year, to find even nukes to repopulate these hives. Um, anyway, we're going to of the hives we have, we're going to feed aggressively and then also treat with certain um, chemicals for fire ants as well as mites. And uh, not mites, I beg your pardon, small hive beetle. So today is a day of going through each of these hives and see what's going on. This is one of the healthy hives. We're going to do some treatment of it here. Now what Jerry's doing here is just hitting the edges of the the rest, the frame rest, with some mineral oil which will clog up the small hive beetle issues and kill them. He's also spreading some cinnamon powder along the exterior or the edges of the hive which is meant to uh, help combat uh, the fire ants. Eggs on it? Yeah. So, what we're doing now is we're taking some frames out of one of Jerry's stronger hives and putting it in one of Jerry's weaker hives. And they also have eggs and brood on them. So not only do we get the bees, but we'll get the, the hatch, hatchling brood, but we'll also get um, potentially a queen cell out of it because there's eggs. As you can see, it's gotten a little hairier out here since we've been working. Going into the hives, we've been inspecting for queens and rebalancing the hives in case we have some weak ones. We're putting frames of good brood into the weaker ones to hope that they can um, build back up to strength and also uh, uh, 
looks like they might be queenless or making sure there's some eggs in there as well. We are taking a risk there. If they make their own queen in this environment, because Africanized bees are in the area, they could make meat with some um, Africanized drones. Uh, it is the risk we take in order to make sure these hives stay vital. Uh, in the meantime, we're going out to try to find some new queens today that are not Africanized um, to see if we can uh, requeen some of these hives that we notice are in bad shape. So we're landing the last few pallets here. Bees have gotten a little more riled up. We've been able to actually take some honey out of the deep supers. That probably came from the uh, disappointing uh, Brazilian pepper flow. They did give us some honey in the deeps, which will harvest. Each of these hives, we're looking to see if we see brood and some signs of a queen, although they're not necessarily a queen. After which we hit them with some of the mineral oil at the edges of the top bars or along the frame rest, and then put a couple of pollen or a couple of um, hive beetle traps in. And then we also dust the top frames or the top bars with cinnamon, which is meant to be a repellent for um, fire ants. And that's a particularly handy tool to do this quickly, this frame grabber. And there's a frame, all covered in brood. We, we know by that that there's a good queen in there, although we're not actually looking for her. What we're going to do tomorrow is uh, go and buy some coarse syrup and then feed these folks, uh, these bees. Um, the nectar flow was great, but it didn't actually ha have them blow out as big as we would like. And so we're going to feed these bees some diluted uh, high fructose corn syrup. That we're buying it day down uh, in Tampa to uh, feed them and hopefully encourage them to uh, expand. Okay, we've been in the bee yard for about five hours this morning. One of the things we did is Jerry took a culture of bees from a couple of hives. Uh, he drowned them in rubbing alcohol. And now uh, Dr. Mattiaccio is going to bring it, break out the, the uh, microscope. And this is for uh, looking for mite counts on these bees. Very scientific. We're fortunate that Dr. Mattiaccio has this microscope. You know how these Italians are so concerned about managing their sperm counts, um, and Jerry has this specifically to measure that, uh, but this is a byproduct. So in this small sample, we found one mite right there, if you can see it. At least we think it's a mite. Right. Maybe another one over on that side. Not a huge count, though. Okay. 
Next is a test for Nosema, and Jerry is mushing our bees in some water. Upon which he will place the some water on the slide and stack it in the microscope. I feel like this is an episode of Breaking Bad. Oh, I didn't realize it's had a camera. That's huge. Stuff. <clears throat> so there's the image. And those are little particles of pollen coming to Jerry. How, how, what would Nozema look like? <clears throat> Nozema would look like grains of rice on the screen. Gotcha. Same size as the pollen? Correct. Here's a set of Dan Vitus' nukes. The um, insulation you see on the rooftop is essentially supposed to be reflective to keep the nukes from overheating in the uh, hot summer. You can see that some of that reflective material is. It's a windy day out here, so we're not seeing a lot of activity. A lot of the bees, not many bees flying today. Nuke boxes set up all over the nuke boxes and full hives set up all over the property. Yesterday we filled this tote with about 200 pounds of corn syrup that we uh, bought from Dayton up in uh, near Tampa. It was quite a ride, about five hours from here each way. So that was a whole day worth of uh, work getting feed. And we're pumping it out now out of this tank, partially because we can't lift it off the uh, we can't lift it off the uh, trailer, but also we're gonna move it into this tote here. We're pumping it in this pump 
we're going to make one to one syrup so we have water and um, syrup going in here and we hope that uh, to feed the bees today this concoction we hope we've also uh, added some medication to the syrup to make it uh, a little healthier for the bees including some antibiotics for um, Nosema. This is day four, uh, Thursday. It's about uh, 9.30 in the morning. And there's Jerry all jammed up in his bee suit. And here is Cork, me. Still braving the bees, although it's very windy today, so the bees aren't out in force. Um, but as soon as this corn syrup hits the hits the, the scent trail for the bees, we can see a lot more activity out here. So I'll be in giving you a suit shortly. So what Jerry's doing now is going through each of his colonies, see which ones are strongest. To the extent there are some that are a little stronger than others, he'll do some rebalancing to strengthen some of the weaker hives. For the hives that are strong and two deeps, they'll do a split. We actually bought some queens from Dan Vitus yesterday over in Florida. Bees and honey, which is supposed to be good. V uh, Varroa resistant bees. He's also, as you can see, cleaning out the pallets to the extent that he's had some dead outs. We wouldn't qualify this as colony collapse disorder necessarily. We probably look, look at this more as just uh, parasites. We've got had a lot of fire ants down here. Another kind of ants, bull ants. And of course the nectar flow from the Brazilian pepper from across the across the state are saying it was a kind of a crappy flow. Split is he'll find the queen in one of the boxes and isolate her, and then take one of the boxes that doesn't have a queen and start a new box and add one of the queens that the pack or the packaged queens that we bought yesterday. This hive down here looks very strong. It's a great candidate for splitting. We'll know better when we get inside. You can see by all the bee activity appearing on the front that there's lots of bees there. 